Eat this instead of that. Effective weight loss tips. Ah, weight loss, the age-old struggle between humans and their love for donuts. Now here's the thing, folks. Navigating the world of diets isn't as easy as following a GPS to your nearest pizza joint. However, I've got some eat this instead of that advice that could be your guiding star. If you can resist the gravitational pull of that bacon double cheeseburger, that is. First off, eat an apple instead of drinking apple juice. The juice contains more sugar and lacks the fiber that the real McCoy has. It's like choosing between watching a movie or reading the book it was based on. The book, or in this case the apple, is always better. Secondly, have oatmeal for breakfast instead of a bagel. It's not as sexy as a bagel slathered in cream cheese, but oatmeal is a fiber powerhouse that keeps you feeling full throughout the morning. In the language of our inner caveman, no hungry, no eat more mammoth meat. Lastly, swap that potato chip bag for a bowl of air-popped popcorn. More puffy kernels, fewer calories, and the same satisfying crunch. It's the snack equivalent of downgrading your gas-guzzling Humvee for a more economical Prius. Remember, team, weight loss isn't all about magical diets or secret superfoods. It's about making smarter decisions, like choosing to open a savings account instead of blowing your paycheck on a life-size replica of the Millennium Falcon. Oh, and before you ask, I'll tell you, no substitution exists for donuts. Yet. But hope, like our perpetual quest for lower-calorie desserts, springs eternal. What are some other examples of food substitutions for weight loss? Ah, so you've decided to continue trekking down the path of healthier choices, huh? That's inspiring. Right then. Ready to swap those less healthy options lurking in your pantry? Let's roll. How about taking a rain check on white rice and instead breaking bread, whole grain of course, with quinoa? Quinoa isn't just a pretty face, it's a complete protein and packed with fiber. White rice, on the other hand, is like that charming date who forgets their wallet every single time. Next, ditch soda and say hello to sparkling water. Who knew drinking bubbling water could be so sophisticated? Add in a little fresh fruit, and you've got something that shakes hands with soda but won't wage war on your waistline. Swap out those french fries for sweet potato fries. You'll still get that oh-so-delicious crisp with fewer calories. They're like the responsible older brother, who's also somehow way more fun than the reckless younger one. Switch from milk chocolate to dark chocolate. It's like trading a popular but vacuous blockbuster for a thought-provoking indie film. It's still entertainment, but with substance. And let's not forget about the antioxidants, or as I prefer to call them, the not going to turn into a werewolf when I reach 40 squad. And lastly, how about having Greek yogurt instead of ice cream? A cheeky way to save on those calories, and it still feels like you're having dessert. Not to mention you're feeding your gut those friendly probiotics, meaning you're basically having dessert and making friends at the same time. So there you have it, folks. Small changes, big impact. And always remember, the best diet is a balanced diet, even if it means having one cookie instead of five. Baby steps. Can you provide more information about the benefits of oatmeal for breakfast? Oh, oatmeal. That breakfast staple that doesn't usually get invited to the cool cereal club. But guess what? It should. I mean, the health perks of this modest grain are like a superhero team of wellness. Let me walk you through it. Nutrient gold mine. Oatmeal is like that person who speaks five languages, knows how to tango, and bakes in their free time, so versatile. It is packed with essential nutrients like fiber and protein. Cholesterol and heart health. Oatmeal could be the Clark Kent of your breakfast table. Beneath its mild exterior, it has the power to lower cholesterol and improve heart health. Maybe we should start wearing our pajamas inside out too, eh? Blood sugar control, oatmeal's superpower list doesn't end there either. It can swoop in and help control your blood sugar. It's like having your own personal dietitian wrapped in a warm, comforting bowl. Weight loss. Ally, if you're looking to lose some pounds, oatmeal is your best breakfast buddy. It can help you feel full longer, thereby reducing the chance of midday snacking, gut health, and get this, it's even got your back when it comes to digestion. Oatmeal provides a healthy dose of fiber that aids in digestive health and keeps things, you know, moving. Immunity boost. As if that's not enough, oatmeal also contributes to a healthy immune system. It's sort of like having a miniature army fortifying your body's defenses. So folks, maybe next time, 
give that bowl of oatmeal a second look before reaching for the sugary cereals. You know what they say, not all heroes wear capes. Some come in an underappreciated bowl of grains. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have an oat date with a bowl of oatmeal. How does oatmeal benefit gut health? Good question. Oatmeal can be a real friend to our gut health. You see, it's packed with a type of dietary fiber called beta-glucan, which aids in digestion. Think of this fiber as your gut's personal fitness trainer. You see, when you consume oatmeal, this fiber absorbs water and swells inside your digestive tract, resulting in slower digestion and promoting a feeling of fullness. So not only does it help keep your hunger pangs at bay, but it also aids in smooth digestion and keeps things, well, moving regularly, if you catch my drift. Not only that, this fiber, the beta-glucan, acts as a prebiotic, essentially feeding your good gut bacteria, allowing them to thrive and outpace the bad bacteria. Think of it as good guy oatmeal helping to maintain order in the sometimes chaotic world of your gut microbiome. So by regularly eating oatmeal, you're not just having a tasteful breakfast, but you're also helping your gut to maintain a healthy ecosystem. Now that's what I call a breakfast of champions. Are there any other food substitutions I can make for weight loss? Oh, that's a good one. You're all about making smart choices, aren't you? All right, here's a bunch more you may find helpful. Switch processed refined bread for whole grain bread. It's like swapping a lame movie sequel for the critically acclaimed original. Whole grain bread is packed with fiber and other valuable nutrients compared to the bleached, devoid of life white bread. Instead of deep frying, try grilling, baking, or steaming. It's like choosing to hike a scenic trail instead of watching TV at home. A lot more fun and much better for you. Why not replace your mayo and high-calorie dressings with mustards, vinegar, or lemon juice? They're like zesty little life coaches, helping you cut calories while amplifying your flavors and nutrition. Swap full-fat dairy with their low-fat counterparts, so you still get your calcium intake, but with fewer calories. Trade in pizza or a burger for a big, colorful salad once in a while. Think of it like choosing a live concert over listening to a studio album, just a lot more vibrant and fulfilling. Now remember, these swaps should be a part of a balanced diet and not the whole sum. It's also important to pair these with regular physical activity. And always remember, your best weight is the one you feel good at while living the healthiest life you can actually enjoy. Happy swapping! Are there any other low-fat cheeses besides part-skim mozzarella that I can try? Absolutely cheese lover! We've got a whole world of low-fat cheese options out there. String cheese, Popular among kids and grown-ups alike, this easy-to-eat cheese can be a great low-fat substitute. Cheddar cheese, reduced fat, same good old flavors with fewer attractive love handles. What's not to like? Panela, a fresh Mexican cheese that won't melt into your conscience weighing you down with its fat content. Feta, a tangy Greek cheese that makes salads sassy and is stylishly light on fats. Swiss cheese, low-fat. Keep the holes, lose some fats. You know, a good old weight reduction makeover. Neufchatel could almost fool you into thinking it's full-fat cream cheese, only it won't show up on your hips. Ricotta, low-fat, gives you the creamy texture minus the fatty credits. Parmesan, grated. Sprinkle on the flavor, not the fat. Remember, while they're lower in fat, they're still cheese and should be eaten in moderation. Happy cheese hunting!